entirety of the match. We know that face camping can be very, very unfun for the person on the hook, but of course also the other people in the match. So we're looking to test out a new feature that's gonna help combat face camping as a whole. So Jeff, tell us how it works. Well, the first thing I wanna say is that as an altruistic survivor, it's really difficult for me to play against someone who's face camping because I just wanna help and I can't. Uh, so I'm stuck, you know, doing generators instead, which is fine, <laughs> but I'd rather help my teammates. But yes, so the way the system works is that the hooked survivor has a meter on, on their screen, and it fills up based on the killer's distance to the hooked survivor. So the closer the killer is, the faster it fills up. The further they are, the slower it fills up, up until it doesn't fill up at all because they're not within a certain radius. And once it's full, the hooked survivor can unhook themselves even in the second stage. And what's great about this is that they get the full benefits of being unhooked. So it's as though a teammate had unhooked them or they unhook themselves with the perks such as deliverance. So for those of you who don't know, that means they'll get the haste status effect and the endurance status effect. So they're pretty safe at that stage. That is so awesome here. I know folks at home are probably already thinking about a bunch of things on this topic. So I'm going to start by bringing probably one of the questions we're going to get. And that's what happens if the killer